shame feels like stepping towards um, a connection, let's just say, stepping towards this precipice and I'm not quite sure what it's going to look like and shame says, mm -mm, I don't back think off. so, back off. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And so I pull back. Yes. Yeah, and then yes. I try again and then shame says, yes. they're not going to like you or yep. shame says, um, you know, um, you're going to make a fool of yourself absolutely. or bad choice. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and I just want to, I just want to acknowledge mm. that, that you and I as really experienced seasoned therapists still feel that. Oh yes. Still feel that. <laughs> but I have given, the awareness. <laughs> get, exactly. <laughs> given the right context, <laughs> I'm as much in, I'm as much there in my vulnerability yeah. and anxiety and, and, and resistance yeah. as anybody the only difference might be is that I'm, I've learned to feel more comfortable with being in those places and just holding presence with myself, not deflecting to all the various things yeah. that I might do to take me out of that uncomfortable place. I'm able to sit with being uncomfortable mm. um, to stay in the interaction or to stay in the context yeah. um, until it changes, which it will. Which it absolutely will. And sometimes, I want to add to that, sometimes I'm not so comfortable <laughs> sitting in that. Like I think, and I said this to Father Rod, and I think I've said it to you because we have this therapeutic yeah. relationship. Yeah. And, um, and I'm very good at reaching a point, you know, so where I will um, explore and, and I was going to say do therapy, do my own work up to a certain point. And I'm really good at holding that. I call it like uh, on my ceiling. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and I regulate myself. Yes. You know, yes. when I'm getting close to that, I like I, yes. I pull myself back, yeah. back down again. It, it absolutely doesn't mean that you can't regulate. No. We still have to regulate yeah. all the time, but we're doing it with awareness. That's right. I'm like, oh, I'm reaching like, it. Yeah, if I regulate here, what are the consequences? I'm more likely to think, what are the consequences of me regulating yes. here? Is it worth pushing through Yeah. because it's really important yeah. or it doesn't matter, yeah, I'm going to regulate. Yeah. I'm just going to take myself out of this meeting or take yeah. myself out of this I was dialogue talk, or whatever. Yeah, I was talking to someone the other day and we were and he was complaining about um, some people that he associates with through work um, that are really rigid, right? They won't kind of see beyond their view of the world, right? Really, really rigid. And um, and he's like, he's so frustrated because they just, he said, it's just like, the, you know, they've got this rigidity and they're just not malleable at all. And I said to him, you have to understand that um, we learn rigidity because in a way it's safe, right? Mm. So here's this is my yep. construct of my yep. world. Yes. And so if I stay within this, I know what I can expect, yes. right? But if I if I move those boundaries, it becomes yes. um, I don't know, like the, the, there's more room for stuff that I'm not quite aware of. Yes. And not only that, the way that I view the world, maybe I re need to reconstruct my whole view of the world yes. if I consider that Absolutely. you might actually have a point. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, so you Absolutely. can understand why people are resistant to do yes, that. Yes, because there's so much vulnerability in that. Yeah, there is. It yeah. feels so unsafe. It yeah. feels like stepping out in. It feels like stepping off a cliff. Yeah. You know, there are plenty of memes around about this is mm. what this is what spiritual awakening is and there's a picture of a man stepping off a cliff. Yeah. It's like, yes, that yeah. is act absolutely yeah, yeah what it feels like internally mm, on an mm. emotional level yeah so it can be a challenge that i will resist because i'm doing fine just as i am thank you yeah. very much yeah yeah <laughs> except that you won't be at some point yes that's right and potentially <laughs> I'm not, not at the sustainable moment. <laughs> no and not only that it's it doesn't foster connection yeah in fact it yeah. pushes and yeah. again, that's yeah. probably a yeah. strategy in itself. Absolutely. Mm. And and look, e even personally, you know, my my, my own um, my own father mm. died mm. saying I don't need anybody and mm. sounding proud of it. Right. And in that moment, I realised that was his legacy to me, amongst other things. Yeah. But that was one of his legacies to me that I don't need anybody. Yeah. And I see how that operated for me in my life. Yeah. It's been. You know, to the point where I am now to understand that mm. connection and community is important, I still struggle with that. Yeah. I'm a loner. I'm a deep introvert and yeah. a loner, and yeah. I always have been. Mm. Have been. Um, and it's difficult, but I now have a commitment mm. to, to pushing through whenever I can, 
pushing through that structure mm. that is really ingrained in me. That that's been a legacy mm. for me. Yeah. Um, and I'm passionate. I'm even more passionate about it now because I think mm. I've had that struggle mm. so much. Yeah. Um, but but I want I want to die with the words on my lips. You know, mm. about embrace and mm. community and love and care and you know surrendering. To, to that idea mm. Mm. because I think it's important. And I think, you know, you don't only have to look at nature to understand that community and unity is a survival thing. Yeah. It's, it's nothing but survival mm. for most other beings on this planet and we just don't seem to have really understood that mm. Mm. Um, for lots of different reasons. Yeah. For lots and lots of different reasons. So. Mm. Mm. I think that's really beautiful. It's a really beautiful way to finish what we're talking about. Yeah. Because there's a sense of what legacy do I wish to to leave? To leave. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. yeah. And and how can I whilst I'm still able to uh, tweak that a little bit, yeah, with awareness. Mm. Mm. Thanks, Steiner. Yeah. Thank you. Lovely Thank talking you. to you as always. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's been delightful. Yeah, it has. Yeah. yeah. Thank you.